okay, let's do a hands on on the WRP protection. Two steps. I would like first we check together the flash write protection, thanks to our tool Cooper Rummer. And in a second time, I would like to check the SRAM protection, thanks Cubideo. So I will launch Cube Programmer and start it the first step. So here you've got Cube Programmer, which have nobody connected for the moment. Um, I bring two boards, one with the L073 and one L476, just to show you the difference in the option by structures. So first I plug the L073LZ and let's check the option byte. So I connect, I can see the content of the flash and if I click here I can see the option byte on write protection is on the per sector basis you've got one bit per sectors of the flash that you can protect. Okay? And let's plug now the L4. So I connect to the board, and now if you see the structure of the option byte is different. Here for the right protection, you've got one pair bank, you've got area with a start address and hand address. Okay, let's experiment this protection now. So let's check the flash, nothing in the flash, though I can write here what I want. Don't know, what not? sorry, double click. and I just apply this. As you can see, now I have modified the flash. No protection. So now I propose we protect this first sector. So I will go in the option byte. Then I will say it started at address 0. It finished at address 0. I just want to protect the first uh, sector. Okay, I apply this modification. So it's programmed successfully. Now if I come back to the content of my flash, and if I try to modify it to get it to zero, I can't. I've got the right memory fail. So OK, it's a little bit trivial on zone, but it's really to show you how it's done. Now, as I said, you can modify, OK, you can modify as you want that. So if you want to come back and remove the protection, you just program this one to a value greater than this one. Apply it. Then the protection have been removed, not the content, and now we can program whatever we want here again. Really simple, and if you are doing it with a program on the STM32, it will be exactly the same. So this is the first step. Now I would like we go to a more complex one with the protection of the SRAM. So the purpose now is to check the SRAM2 write protection, and we will do this synced Cubidel. First, I check in the reference manual of the L476. The SRAM2 address is 100000000. 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Okay. We will launch this QBDO, we generate a project for the Nucleo, and in the main loop, we will adjust this test, which is a red pin of a blue button. B1 GPO port will be associated to the blue button of the board. If it's pressed, I mean, if the GPIO is zero, then we will uh, configure registers to protect the SRAM. Let's switch to the QBDO now. So I launch the STM32 uh, QBDO, and I will create a new project for my Nucleo board. So I go in new, STM32 project. Then I've got the target selectors. I will select the board selectors. And then here I need the 476 edge. Here we've got the nuclear one, which corresponding to mine. Next, let's go like SRAM2 project and finish. Yes, it should initialize all the peripheral with the default mode. That way we have the blue button already configured, I would say. Okay, 
my code is ready, my pinout is correct, I've got my blue button defined just here. So I will read this value and the when this value is equal to zero, then I will configure the protection. So let's go to the main. Here we've got the main function and the main loop. So I will write just after and I will test the GPIO associated to the blue button. If I share GPIO, I could press control space to have proposal. Here I want to do a read pin function. I know that it started with B1, control space, first the port, then again B1 control space the pin and if I lead read zero then I will modify the system register so it was a sys cfg register this is already defined in the stack and we will use the pr this could be equal to ox1 Okay, so this should be good. Let's save, let's compile. And now I propose to debug. So, so I was able to connect, everything is started. As you can see, I could put a breakpoint just there, I'm started. I'm not reaching this breakpoint, so okay, the code is okay. If I break now, and if I want to see memory, so I will request a show view, the memory, and here I would like to check the SRAM. So here we also already have some usage. I can write whatever I want, no restriction about this access. If I continue, if I break again, the value is still there, okay? So now if I continue, if I press the blue button now, then as you can see, I'm just breaking in, the, in this uh, assignment. I can still modify it. And now if I just step over this one, now any access would be declined. There is some error. Now it's no more possible. So if I reset the board, so just doing this, the system config register will be reset and now I should be able to write again. Okay, so this is really bad X, but show you this protection of the SRAM tool that could be done dynamically inside the code.